off, not, not, you know, my time was forced, you know, we, you know, me and Zad both cool with Floyd, but, you know, I was under Mayweather promotions for a long time. So, you know, it was all fucked up. So, you know, I ain't even going to get into that, but I, I lost a lot of um opportunities for real, real years and years and years, you know, so, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, once it's over, it's over. So I'm just trying to put a couple <laughs> feathers in my cap and before it's done. You know, I don't, <clears throat> now that you said that, you know, he's kind of losing a lot of his fighters right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, I mean. Jahan Ingram just he, left. Yeah, and, I mean, it's the difference of having a, a passion at being a promoter than a fighter. Like, you know, naturally him being Floyd Mayweather, people won't want to sign under him because he's Floyd. But, you know, being a promoter is different than being a great fighter. So you got to have a. You know, um, like Zab, you know, you work for B BLK, but Zab more of a, a people's person. Like when it come to helping other people careers and this and that, that ain't really Floyd personality. Like he good for himself. Like, yeah, yeah, because I, I we we spoke to uh, <clears throat> what was it, July uh, Jalil Hackett, you know, and uh, a big you know prospect, you know, and. Uh, you know, he just recently left and moved. I uh, went to the zone as well, so it's been kind of a routine. Hopefully, uh, everything. But see, that moves. the good thing is this for them though that they got to leave, and they ain't get held up for years. And then when you do leave, you know, you 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 know, it, it's a long. You know, the story. You know, one day my story be told. But like I say, life go on. Shit happen. You know, I'm just trying to get. You know, while well, I, I ain't gonna say try, I will put some more feathers in my cap before it's over. I, I mean, you know, I think like with our session with before champ, you know, me and Zab, I mean, we talk about, you know, just, the, you know, coming up, becoming champ and, you know, you know, how you how that happened. And, and we want to hear your story because I feel like that will help other fighters moving forward. Tell us the yeah. Mickey Bay story. Oh, man, Zab, man. It, <laughs> hey, hey, we going to have to have a movie damn near. This shit's so crazy. But I'm saying the Bay, the Bay Brothers. Though. Hey, I'm gonna put it to you like this, E, because you know me and Zab been close for a while, and you know I love his dad. Like they, the kind of people they are. Like if Zab, like if he had a company, like just say it was he had Mayweather Promotions, I know it would have been way different for me. I'm gonna just say that, like you know, this ain't me talking down on Floyd. It just ain't a passion of his, and he don't run the company. It's just under his name. But when you put family members and dudes like that was running it, the shit was just, you know, that's how it turned out to be what it is. But I'm saying like, uh, you know, every, you know, it just saying this thing. I'm going to just leave it at that. Promoting just saying this thing. But, yeah, that ain't it for everybody. Yeah, it ain't for everybody. You know, how much, how much day to day did, did, uh, um, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> what, like, say how, how much day-to-day -day did Floyd put in or what? On the promotion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much day-to-day uh, day did, uh, you know, uh, was, um, when uh, you were signed the Nails Motion, was Floyd, like, active with this company and doing things? Man, damn know. near zero. Now, he's damn fighting near still. zero, like. He's still yeah, fighting like, at the same uh, time, right? Obviously. What you say? He's also he's also competing at a high level. Yeah, while yeah, yeah. You know, Floyd, he did a lot of great stuff for me in my life, like outside of him being a promoter. But you know, the problem with me was his younger cousin was managing me and he didn't know nothing about the business. So he was more worried about how much paper he can get. And 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 you know, it ended up turning to a thing to where he was worried about taking a big cut and stealing so much that it just caused a conflict. I, I let it go on for a few years because I'm just like, let me just, you know, I already, you know, felt like I was behind, you know, some years. Would, so I'm like, I ain't going to say that. I'm going to just fight and win. But after a while, it's like, this shit's still about money. So, you know, when I spoke up, it became a problem. Not, not to Floyd. When I finally told Floyd, he just, you know, 
he tried to alleviate it, but it ain't stuff just ain't go good as far as that. I'm gonna just say that right now. Right, right. That's deep, you know what I mean? Because guys like, you know, Tiafimo Lopez that have been outspoken in their career, you know, it sometimes they go into a big fight with like Cambosis, like, you know, you fought Cambosis, and when you're on that A side, you know, you, you they always say you gotta beat the champ. You know what I mean? You gotta take that from the champ. And you know, I feel like Tia Fimo, I think I put that in my song. You gotta beat the champ to beat the champ. And still <laughs> So my my thing is is like, you know, that being said, it could have went his way, but he was very outspoken before that. That was the first time that he was very, very outspoken, and I feel like it didn't go his way. Um, and with that, in that, in that situation, but in another note, though, while you were signed to uh, Floyd Mayweather, how many cards did you fight under while he was fighting? At least, you know, he's your promoter. He's still fighting. He's active. How many fights are you? Uh, are you under his card? Like, what's going on? I fought. I fought on a couple. Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day. It, it was my fault for signing with him, so I ain't even going, you know, I was with top rank and Jay Prince, which is, it was a mistake me going to him and not staying with them. So I'm going I'm to hold myself accountable for making, but I just didn't know because Floyd always treated me well and like family before I signed. Like I say, it was errors made. It was just a lot of errors made. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, it was, you know, but it, it, it was bad though. The company is, is, you know, it ain't, you know, it is what it is. They should be number one right now, really. Like, it ain't no way that you Floyd Mayweather, you shouldn't have the biggest company in boxing. But like I say, he does not, he a great fighter in the ring. And I learned a lot training with his dad my whole career and stuff like that. But, you know, like I say, Zab got that personality to where he could promote other people. Like, you know, me just knowing Zab 20 plus years too. That's what I always get out of him, his dad, and you know they just get along with everybody and know how to. Everybody different. Everybody see Floyd here by himself. Like you know they ain't even saying nothing as a knock. That's just him. So you would would you advise uh, Shakur to stay uh, top ranking uh, Jay Prince? Definitely. Uh, even if he's trying to get this, even though he's trying but, to get but this. But see, this right? where people make a mistake. I'm going to say this about the comment, right? People align Mayweather promotions with PBC. PBC is Al's company. They don't got nothing to do with Floyd. I, but Floyd I wanted, is different. I, listen, I wanted to sign with Al. That's where the conflict came because Al was supposed to manage me. That's the two different separate things. Floyd just put his cars up under the PBC banner because that's his advisor, but Al, Floyd don't got nothing to do with PBC. That's Al Hamas' company. People keep mixing the two up. Like I wanted to be signed with uh, PBC. I would have. It would have been way better for me. I'm just clarifying that because everybody keep saying Floyd. Like, but nah, can you blame like, us? But, but, can you blame hold us? On. What about what about when Floyd Floyd did come on on the internet recently and said that he is. Uh, he told us. He said what. He he told he told he told Zab Judah and I on um, before champ that PBC is his company. Man, listen, if I PBC got the video for this, why they ain't thinking Floyd instead of Al Heyman in after the fights? What was that? Why they ain't thinking Floyd Mayweather after the fights instead of Al Heyman? I don't know. No, I'm just Floyd, but Floyd did. I ain't gonna lie though. Floyd did bring light because him fighting under. He did bring light to that because, um, you know, Zab know like I Zab know the real, but I ain't on here to knock Floyd and nothing. I'm just keeping it real. But Floyd, I want to know the real. Zab we all want to know. know the real. What's going on, man? Come on, we on before <laughs> champ. As Earl Spence and all the fighters, that ain't his company. Mayweather Promotions is, is his company. You can come in and not out if you need. I'm on the. I'm on this call. So. You got, you got yeah, Ooh. but uh, no. See, Al's his. All right, Al. He did blow up from having Mayweather. Of course, naturally, that made people want to, even myself. And, and Al, you know, he grew up with my grandparents because we from the same area and stuff like that. We both from Cleveland, right? So, uh, you know, he did put Al on the map as far as boxing, even though he had Tarver, Griffin, and all of them. 
because I was going to sign with Al at the beginning, like, you know, like right after, you know, I'd have been like before he had PBC, before Al had PBC, but I was always real tight with Jay Prince. So I went with Jay instead because I already, Jay already been um kind of helping me through the amateurs and stuff like that. So my loyalty was with Al at the time. I mean, with, with Jay Prince, you know. Mm. Yeah. Hey yo, Mickey. The first time, the first time I heard about Al Heyman was uh back in the nineties. I heard about him, and I heard about him through uh, Vernon Forrest. Vernon Forrest, cause he man, fighter. Yeah, that was his first fighter, right? Vernon Forrest. Vernon Forrest is the first fighter. You know, you know what I'm saying? Vernon's the only in the room talking about Al Heyman, and he used to be trying to tell me like, yo, yo, I'm gonna get you with my man Al. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you with my man Al. And I was yeah. Like, so, so I've been around for a long time. He he ain't no new spring chicken to pop to the light and just take over like that. Uh, exactly, around. like he was the biggest concert promoter in history. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Live Nation. Yeah, music. Yeah, because Gerald Levert used to always tell me about him. Like you yeah. know, he used to, <laughs> yeah, you remember the singer Gerald Levert? Yep, yep. I know, I know Gerald. Oh yeah. He's, He's always like, man, you need to talk to Al. And Al, it was, it's just crazy story we're going to have to talk about on y'all thing when, when it come down to that. Because Al was just, he, I don't know how the hell he knew where I was. I don't know. He's he a powerful cat, though. We, everybody know that. But it was just certain stuff that, you know, stories I got that, you know, I'm sure we'd talk about. We need now, to know. Al is, mad, Al is major, 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 major powerful. Big player. Yeah, yeah. He a different animal. Like he, you know, he definitely, he definitely helped change boxing for sure. Cause him get him signing Floyd. Uh, uh oh, a lot. Now we start. Now some of Floyd fighters are starting to pop in. What's going on? What's going on? Joseph Brown, salute. They they they're starting to hear this. They're like, oh, they probably hey, like, damn. Is, I wish I was with Al. Right? Shit. Who do? Who don't want to be with Al? Al definitely changed the game when it came to them paydays. Mm, salute no. to Joseph Brown. We gonna pop tap in with us, Joseph. I must say, I must say, cause back in the day, I see Mike making thirty million, fifty million. I'm like, oh, that shit is crazy. Thirty million, he's like, like thirty million was a big, big number. Right. Yeah, Al came in again. We started turning this shit up. Oh, he started. And you know, and you know, like anybody, Zab, cause you didn't had some big fights with you and Floyd and all of that, so you know firsthand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what? for sure. Um, nevertheless, so let's get into, you know, make sure you share that story. We want to we wanna continue that. We're going to put this on layaway right now. Rain check. For yeah, before yeah, 10, yeah. we're going to sit down and we're going to really, like, just just let it all out like if it's therapy. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but let's get into the five on five yesterday. Um, also, um, you know, I think I used to see you with snack shirts on, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah. You. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Snack. Snack team. Snack team. So I got two snack members here. Salute. Um, talk to me. What do you, um, think, tell me about snack. You know, what in your situation with snack, you know, what do you think about the product itself? What do you think about Victor Conti? What do you think about this situation? Uh, you said the situation about what? Snack? Yeah, the situation with like Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, All right. Let's talk about the product. Let's talk about the product. The product. Absolutely. Oh, uh, like you said what I think about the product? Yes. What do you think about the product? Oh, well, I think that, see, me and Zab, I'm going to just say this because Zab on here, like, well, See, I don't look at what he did in the past because we both, we all from the streets, everybody on here. And just because, you know, everybody got a pass, whether they come to this or that. But to me, you need people that know in the game that that know both sides of it. But what well, the product is good to me, the, you know, all these little vitamins. and that. Well, I met him through training Devin Haney and um seeing the work that he did with Devin, like, you know, he got all of the, the, the chambers and this and that. And he got a, a good track coach, dude, like 95 years old, Ukrainian. 
that's right next to him that, you know, help train his fighters and stuff like that. Um, I just think he real smart when it comes to the body and, you know, knowing this fighter. So, you know, I pretty much met him, um, you know, from training Devin. I went up there a couple times with Devin and, and met him like that. But uh, I think that it's a good company for the sport.